<laughs> Move, Tavish. Hello. <laughs> We're here with Tavish, my rough collie. Tavish, say hi to the camera. <laughs> he doesn't want to. <laughs> hi, I'm Kimbra. And I'm Tambra. And we're going to talk to you today about some cross stitching that we're doing. And um, one of the things I wanted to mention is that um, uh, Brenda and Laura are doing a blackbird uh, sal, which is a blackbird stitch along. And so it's this weekend, um, May 1st and 2nd. And so I've got my. Um, cross stitch pattern in here. Uh oh, there goes the uh, lawnmower. Oh, um, we're outside. <laughs> so we're, I'm doing the Winds of Autumn by Blackbird Designs. And what I'm doing is the spell of the moon. And if you've seen any of our um, cross stitch episodes, then you've seen spell of the moon. And I'll show you how much I have of that. I've only got a little bit of the border, come closer, a little bit of the border and the tree started. But I'm hoping to get a bunch of it done tomorrow. So <laughs> if you look at Brenda and Laura and their Blackbird Design Stitch Along, then you should be able to find them. And I'll try to link it down below. But that's what I'm working on for the Stitch Along, which is um, just this weekend, I believe. I am not partaking in that. I'm still working on my witch's feet. And last time I hadn't started or I had just one uh, row. So now I am uh, progressed a little bit. It uh, takes quite a bit of time, but <laughs> when I work on it in the evenings and once my eyes get tired, then I have to stop because I tend to mess up. But um, So Tammy's doing the five friends part by Teslin, and I'm doing the, um, sorry, I hope that lawnmower is not, that you can still hear us. I'm doing the, if the hat fits, which is the five witches hats. And we're kind of doing this as a joint project so that I could do the hats and Tammy can do the feet. And then um, I'll show you the progress I made. I've made a bit of progress on it. Um, let me see. You have a lot of progress. I um, clip mine together because it's so long. Because I'm doing it on 14 Ada, and I think that originally it was supposed to be on 32. I could look and see, but I I have trouble see. seeing that. <laughs> anyway, so I've got two of the hats done. And then I've got the third one started. And so I'm hoping to get this done in the next couple months um, because then same, we can switch. Yeah, we can. Um, so it's going to be quite long. But it'll be a fun decoration for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And anyone that knows me knows that I really love um, every holiday. But I like to especially decorate my yard for Halloween because I love to see the kids come by and go trick-or-treating. Anyway, um, <laughs> so that's the project we're working on, but I also just got a, um, in the mail, I ordered from Top Knot Stitcher a new pattern, because this one, we do have some time to get it done. I mean, October's a little ways off, but it comes yeah. quicker than you know. <laughs> so I got this in the mail today from Top Knot Stitcher and she said thank you for supporting my small business on the um, on the tag and I haven't even opened it yet so Top Knot <laughs> Stitcher Shop I'll show you the name of it hopefully you can see that and then <laughs> the dog just put his ball on my chair when I moved um, anyway so I'm just opening it now and I got one for me and one for Tammy. I like to do um, projects together. Oh, how so, cute. Oh, those are adorable. So what I got was, oh, we have the dogs running through our studio Sorry. here. 
We got the lawnmower and the dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to find time to film, you know, when things are quiet. So let's see if you can see that. Anyway, it's spring blessings and summer blessings. And I thought that um, Tammy would like the spring one to start and I could start the summer one and then we'll switch off. So I got the pattern in here and we'll start on that. So that's our um, future plans. Mm -hmm. And then we've got um, our hats we're still working on. And then do we have any other things that we wanted to start? No, I think that will keep us busy for, for some time. So. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you what we've been working on and our progress. And then the Blackbird Design Stitch Along that's going on this weekend. And I think that Brenda and Laura um, will have other stitch alongs that take place over the weekends. But I haven't looked into that. So just Google Brenda and Laura Blackbird Design Stitch Along and hopefully We'll all join in and post our um, progress on Instagram. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, join us on the Stitch Along. I'm gonna be doing it tomorrow. And then um, if you guys have Halloween projects, please share those too. All right. Thank you. Thanks happy for watching. Happy May Day. Oh bye yeah, bye. it's May Day, so <laughs> happy May Day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. So I'm here at Dorstead Creek um, Yarn Store. It's a... Uh, um, small place in Tumwater and my husband and I are just on our way up to Seattle and I thought I'd stop and just check it out and you can see that they have lots of different yarns and I'm going to let you um, tell us a little bit about it. Your name is? I am Maddie. Um, I have worked here at Jorstad for at least five years now. Um, we are a yarn company in addition to being a yarn store. So we dye the majority of our own yarn. Everything with a black cat on the label is hand dyed by us. Uh, we also carry a few lines of commercial yarn and some other locally hand dyed yarn. Um, in addition to that, we carry fiber for spinning and felting and we've recently added some embroidery supplies. There is all kinds of fun things for the fiber artist in your life. Wonderful, and I see you have a, I forget what these are called back here, but it's um. One of the, um, it takes the... So, um, we've got a variety of equipment back here. These are um, vertical swifts. Since we dye our own yarn, um, things can get a little bit messy in the dye process, as you can see by all the skeins hanging on the wall. And um, we put the yarn on these swifts, and then it feeds through a series of guides onto that big yarn winder. And that process just straightens everything out. So when we twist it up, it's neat and tidy and in a much nicer presentation for the knitter or crocheter who will work with it. Wonderful. I'm just going to walk around and film some of the things that you have so people can see it. But if you guys are in Tumwater... So yeah. actually in Olympia. Oh, are you in Olympia? I'm sorry. That's okay. Tumwater and Olympia are very close to each other. So, um... We must have stopped in Tumwater to eat or something, but um, you can see that they have some beautiful, this must be like cashmere or something. That one is mohair and silk, Oh. and the natural colored yarns below that are cashmere, and there's a few skeins of yak, we've got some alpaca silk. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for sharing your time. Look at all the beautiful colors they've got there. Lace yarns, fingering weight, the sport weight, DK. The worsted and Aaron. And they've got some wonderful examples of um crafts that they've made and books they've just got it all and here's some of the um, fiber for spinning which I've never spun but I would like to try it someday 
So this is Jorsted Creek. And there you've got their website and their phone number. They've got some kitted up um, patterns with the um, yarns right here. You can see this one has some really pretty speckling. And they've got a little, it looks like a little felted gnome here. <laughs> Needle felting is a really fun and quick, rewarding project. It's super cute. It's very cathartic too because you just take your different colored wool and you've got your felting needles and you just stab it as many times as you <laughs> need to get it to shrink and felt up. And, and take out your aggressions at the yes. same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are so pretty. Here's the nice ball colors. And then if you are looking for spring colors, we've got them here. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. So this is Jorsted Creek. It's just a little small yarn and fiber store. Oh, another gnome. Isn't that cute? Some really pretty buttons, too. Some project bags. <laughs> 